Today we'll have a, a quick look at some equipment we would typically supply for student labs. Um, also entirely appropriate for um, kind of budget R&D labs. So we have the HMC 8043 um, triple channel power supply, each channel 32 volt, 3 amp and a 33 watt maximum per channel. Uh, so that can be series or parallel to give you up to 9 amps or 100 volts. Um, each, each channel is entirely isolated. We also have sequencing for turning them on in uh, whatever order is required for a particular board or for in, in teaching applications typically plus or minus 15 say for analog supplies and a plus 5 for digital supplies for working with you know, op amps and, and mixed boards. Um, we have the HMC8012 um, dual channel digital multimeter so all of your, your normal multimeter functions are there um, but being dual channel it includes the ability to measure um, voltage and current at the same time and in that mode it will actually calculate power as well which is how it's configured at the moment also includes a uh, 4 wire sense for um, very low resistance measurements so you can use a Kelvin connection for, for very low levels uh, at the moment I have it hooked up to an all switching regulator from Maxim um, so that's taking 10 volts 55 milliamp input producing 5 volt um, 100 milliamp output so we can instantly see the efficiency there's um, sort of 550 milliwatts going in 510 milliwatts going out instant view of efficiency um, both these products are capable of data logging um, just the addition of a simple USB key plug in the front and we can set them up to log these values over time. Um, again, yeah, useful for a, a wide range of activities. Um, in this case, we can easily test the efficiency of our, our DC to DC, changing our input voltage, measuring the output, and directly measure off the power. Um, the third piece of equipment we have here is the RTB2004 um, four channel mixed signal oscilloscope. So it has provision for 16 digital inputs in addition to the four analog channels as well as external trigger. Um, the last BNC here is an aux out, uh, provides signals from its inbuilt function generator. So you have a 25 megahertz arbitrary function generator. There's also a four bit pattern generator, again, can be programmed with uh, arbitrary signals. Um, it defaults, has I2C, SPI, CAN, LIN signals all preloaded on the device. So for a, a teaching application, you have known good signals you can connect your probes onto. You have serial decode capability on the scope. Um, so you have a completely enclosed system there. Um, in the real world, it's still useful to have them there just as a, a quick verification that everything's set up right. You can decode the the signals that are coming off the scope before you go to a, a real board. Um, so at the moment we have it hooked up just uh, AC coupled standard probe onto the output of our DC to DC and we can easily see the, the, the ripple and switching noise um, coming off the regulator. Um, let's see if we just change, change our input voltage we'll see the, the mark space change of our ripple. As the, the power supply changes mode. Um, we could also use the function generator injected into the feedback loop to, to see the, um, the kind of dynamic performance of the regulator. So, you can, so a wide range of tasks capable with just the three instruments cover pretty much anything you would want to do in a, a teaching environment and the bulk of R&D work as well and all relatively low cost.